Welcome to my next tutorial. Um, today I'm showing you how to um, access a server remotely via SSH and we're going to install the NFS service, you know, network file share service. And right, let's just get started. First of all, you have to connect to the uh, remote server. Uh, we're using SSH and I have the same user account uh, already installed on my other server so we don't have to deal with any uh, um, switches to use a certain user account but I will make another tutorial that will talk a little bit more about how to SSH in two different server with different usernames and so on and so forth so alright let's get started SSH then Go into 102.168.0.123. That's my server where we install NFS. And enter, and then because it's the first time that we uh, want to access that server, so it offers us a uh, encryption key, basically a RSA key fingerprint. And if we want to accept that, we just say yes. So this will be permanently installed on your uh, workstation, and then we enter the password to the remote machine all right and you see the name right here change from my workstation to my server and um, first thing we have to do we have to um, install the NFS kernel server the NFS common package the port map package and um, since we're using NFS, we install NFS Watch, so we can do some um, testing or monitoring on our NFS server. All right, so sudo apt-get apt-get install, and then is the NFS kernel server the NFS colon port map yeah. and uh, NFS watch right. enter then you have to put your uh, password in enter so now it's looking up in their uh, package database and tells us okay I found your packages but I have to install some other packages that are required so just say Y for yes and then it will download all those packages and installing it <coughs> uh, it's a pretty quick install Alright, that's about it. So the NFS service is uh, installed and should be running. Let's double check that. And there we go. Already one, two, three, four, yeah, a few, uh, a few instances running. Alright, then we have to go um, on and um, create a file uh, or folder where we want to share uh, or um, yeah, where we want to share out stuff um, to create that folder after sudo and and then slash SRV you should always um, install your server services like where you have your data from shared from like in our case the NFS under the SRV folder it's uh, um, intend to uh, use it for so NFS and then hit enter and then we have to give them appropriate rights so we have to change the owner to nobody and then no group just for uh, security reasons so if there is a way to access that then uh, the person who access it uh, inappropriately has just nobody or no, no group rights and then specify all the, our path and hit enter and then 
we got to go ahead and create our um, sharing in under NFS you do that with the export files or with the export file it's a configuration file we specify who has access what kind of access to where and if you want to learn a little bit more about the exports just add a man 5 exports and then there's all kind of information about the exports and what you can do how you can uh, restrict access and so on so if you interested in uh, more information just go through this manual and then all your answers should be um, answered uh, all your questions should be answered in here all right then uh, let's edit this file it's etc and then should be under exports and you know here are some examples how you can do it and um, let's go ahead and share out our NFS folder we just created and just uh, give it access to your subnet or in, in, in my case in for my subnet I'm using a uh, class E net um, on, on the zero network and if you don't know what that means here yeah 192.168.0.0 slash 24 with that you you can write it out and if you write it out it would be uh, 192.168.0.0 slash or not slash in that case then 255.255.255.0 and uh, slash 24 means exactly the same and it's a 24 bit subnet and then we specify what kind of access we give and in this case I give, give read write access and make sure it's always in sync and subtree underscore check so it won't check further and uh, close that here and yeah, this is our first share that should at least get you started. Like um, in my case, I would use it for uh, my workstation to access it, like like you would do with the Windows workstation to a server. Share something out, copy stuff over, yeah, this kind of thing, and then we save our file, and then we have to tell uh, basically NFS service that there's a share that uh, was specified or got changed. And uh, in order to do that, we have to use the command export export file system slash uh, uh, dash s. Oh, sorry, dash a. And there we go. Um, if someone uh. Oh, that was a spell spelling error in my um, C right here. Um, I couldn't find that keyword, so we have to go back in and change that here. So because we don't want to do any subtree check. And probably have to do it also as with the sudo. Yeah, right there. So that worked. So got you a little bit of troubleshooting in here too. Um, so you have to execute that export fs command as a super user. So we have to use sudo. And uh, I believe that's yeah, that's about it. How you uh, create a share, share it out, and uh, restrict access to it. In our case, we did just for uh, that particular subnet. And um, yeah, it should be very easy for you to adjust to your network and for your needs. And for more questions, um, um, you can look in the man, uh, man files for exports. And I uh, will see you next tutorial where I show you how to access that share from your Linux workstation. All right, so see you then.